Now we are ready for question 6 on the 2022 May CSEC Mathematics Pass paper. It says here, the diagram below shows a solid made from a semicircular cylindrical base. Semicircle is half a circle, right? With a rectangular prism above it. The diagram of the cylindrical base and the width of the prism are four centimeters. They have the four and the height. The diameter, I should say, what am I saying diagram? The diameter of the cylindrical base and the width of the rectangular prism are four centimeters each. You must calculate the total surface area of the solid. Let me just copy this and paste it over to the whiteboard right here. Right. So, what you have, four centimeter, that's the, the diameter of the prism, and it says the diameter of the cylindrical base and the width of the rectangular prism, right? So from here to here is four, same as from here to here, four centimeter. And of course, this height is four centimeters. Now, remember, it says semicircular. If it was a full circle, this part here would look... I'm trying to follow the curve. It will look somewhat like this. Alright? But it's half a circle. You must calculate total surface here of the solid. And you have a formula here. The area of a cylinder with radius r is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Remember where that comes from? Remember the area of the top of the cylinder. This is r, this is pi r squared. And the bottom of the cylinder, in details there, is pi r squared. You see that? So you have 2 pi r squared. As for the 2 pi r h, you're talking about the circumference. That's 2 pi r. Alright? And then you have the height. So if you should cut the covering of the cylinder and lay it out like this. This would be pi r squared. If you should say cut it and spread it out. If you have a plastic or paper covering on the cylinder like a can. You cut it and spread it out into the pi r squared. And the height, h, would give you the area. So that's where this 2 pi r squared, the top and bottom of the cylinder, that is, plus 2 pi r h would be the side of the cylinder. That's where that comes from. But anyway, let's see what's going on here. You want the total, the surface area of the cylinder. It, oh, the total surface area of the solid you want. You want the total surface area of the solid. All right. Now, above here, let's calculate the area of the top. They say it's a solid. It's not something open that you can throw water or other things in. So you have a top to it. So, the top. Let's calculate the area of the top. The top, well, it would look something like this. What are the dimensions again? 4 by 12. You have 4 by 12. So, the top, the area would be 4 by 12 equal 
48 centimeters squared. 4 centimeters by 12 centimeters would be um, 12, would be 48 centimeters squared. You see that? All right. Let's call this that I will shade here the front of the cylind the, the, the prism. Right? Remember that this consists of something looking like this. Is a prism which is like a box. And then below now you have something else looking like this. The semicircular tank, the semicircular cylinder. So let's call this the front of the prism. Remember, it's 12 wide by 4 high. So you can see that the front looks something like this. It's 4 high by 12 wide, so the area, let's say a top, a front. You could do it a bit faster in exam, but I'm not in exam right now. Maybe not in exam and want to take our time to calculate this thing. It's 12 cm by 4 cm would give you 48 cm squared. All right, that's 48 centimeters squared. That's the front. The back, you can't see it because it's behind here. Let's call it the back. The back of it will be the same as the front, same dimension. So, the back, same thing as the four by 12. So the area of the back would be 12 cm by 4 cm equals 48 cm squared. That's around the back. Now you have, call this the left, the left side of the prism, just the left side alone of the prison it would look something like this what are the dimensions again four wide by four high so remember it would look something like this say so, uh, four by four so the area of the left hand side would be 4 cm by 4 cm equals 16 cm squared. Alright? Then, looking this way, you have the R I G H T, the right. Now, the right would look something like this. Alright? You consider just the right hand side alone. And you can see the dimensions of the right hand side. 4 high by 4 wide. Alright. So it's 4 by 4. Again, just like the left. So the area of the right hand side of that is 4 cm by 4 cm equals 16 cm squared that's what you have there now after that what you have here right you could use it to find the area the surface area of this side of the semicircle plus this side plus around this side here. So what you want is the surface area of that 
um, semicircular cylinder. Remember the area is 2 pi r plus 2 square plus 2 pi r h. Now notice, they say h, h would be the height. When you say h, the cylinder will be standing upright. But this one is laying down, but it's the same h that you would use. The same h. As for the radius, remember what the radius is? The radius is half the diameter. So the radius equals 2 cm. What is the height? The height equals see, 12 cm. Now, cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. We're finding the area. But it's not a full cylinder. It is semi, call it a semi cylinder, half a cylinder. Right? It is this part we're talking about. You want the surface area. Now, oh, why am I drawing it like this? Let me redraw this part here. Alright, nice. Now remember, you had the rest of it up here. So you're not going to find this part. It's not like it's cut. Are you going to find that part? Now, if it was a full cylinder, it would look something like this. Well, you would have hidden details here. So let me redraw this part. All right, this is inside. But it's half a cylinder. Now you see the 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h is for the full cylinder. For this, its area is 2 pi r squared. Let me rewrite that. It's 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. All right? That is for a full cylinder, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. But when you have a half a cylinder, the air would be half of that. Half of 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. All right? And this is the one you want, the half. So the area is half of 2 times pi times what's the radius again remember the radius it was two centimeters two pi times two squared plus two pi times two the the height was 12 all right the height was 12 even though it's lying Horizontal, we call it height because the height would be if you lift it and turn it up. So here now, if you consider this, you could have you could just multiply it throughout by half. Well, let's not do that yet. Let's keep the half here and calculate what is in the bracket. Two pi r squared. Now, what we want is to use our, cylinder, our, our calculator to get this, all right? So, we're going to be using our calculator because we have a pi on our calculator. Now, notice, 2 squared is 4. 4, 2 is 8. So, this is going to be 8 pi plus 2 12 24, 24 2 is 48, 48 pi. Now, you could consider this as 8 pi plus 48 pi would be what? 48 plus 8 would be 48 and 2 is 50 plus 56. So it's half times 56 pi. What is half of 56? 
half of 56 would be 20, 25 to 50, 27, 28, 27.5, 27 and a half, right? So, it would be 27 and a half. You see that? Oh, no man, not 27 and a half. 20, it's 56. So 56 over 2 would be 25. Goes 2 times on 1. 20, 16, 8 is 28. Why am I saying 27 and a half? All right. 28 pi. But you're going to multiply 28 by pi to get that. So our calculator would come into play now. 28 pi. I want 28 pi. Where is the calculator? Calculator. Alright. Where is pi? There's no pi on this. I want a full pi. So let me put it on the advanced mode. There should be a pi there. Hold on. This is advanced mode. Or is it that I don't see the pi? In advanced mode. Which. So. Here. Okay. Alright. So. The pi. Where is the pi? There's normally a full pi on the calculator, you know. I see E, I see LN. But I don't see a pi on this calculator. Oh, here it is, man. Alright, so it's 28 times pi equal 87.965. So, this is equal to 87.965 cm squared got it let's see all ah, right 87.965 now here you're going to calculate the total surface area now all right so you need to use the calculator to quickly get it. So, 48, that's the top, plus 48, that's the front, that's of the pyramid or the box on top of it, plus, and behind that you have the back, it was 48, plus, the left, remember top, front and back, 48 each. The left hand side was 16, plus the right was 16, plus, what was this again? 87.965. So that's 87.965 equal. 263.9 call it 264 centimeters square very close so the area total is what was it again 264 264 cm square all right then we look at what else we are to do what else do they say we are to do now? Calculate the volume of the solid and then we look at this part. Alright, we'll do that in our next video. So remember to subscribe to the channel. Make a comment if you have any question. And so on and so forth. Alright? So, I will see you in the next video.